Hi everyone and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So today I'm going to attempt something that I have never done before. Also ignore the is it there and is it there and the cut on my lips. That's the preface. I'm going to try something I've never done before and that is to do an unedited get ready with me. So I will try my best to not stop. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but I am going to do my best. Okay? So the first thing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to like a little holiday party thing with close family friends. So that's why I'm getting ready. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I think that looks fine. I don't know. You guys are going to have to see me fixing my hair and all that. Um, what was I saying? Okay, this is another problem. I get very distracted very fast. So I'm going to use some moisturizer. I know I've done like a million get ready with me's. Get ready with me's? Yeah. I've done a million this vlogmas and to be honest, a lot of times <laughs> I feel like I have nothing better to film. So I'm like, okay, I might as well just film a get ready with me because I feel like those never get old. I don't know, I could be completely wrong in that assumption. Um, but they're super fun to do. Um, and I feel like sometimes my days are like insanely boring, especially when I'm home and I'm not like doing all that much. It can get a little boring. Um, just my concealer. What the frick? Okay, I'm gonna have to go get my concealer, but I'm not editing. I'm gonna edit me going and getting it, and I'll be right back. Okay? Oh, see? Okay, I'm back. So now I'm just gonna put on. My e.l.f. concealer. I was going to tell you guys something and I forgot. Oh, I really want like a desk in my room because I, every time I like film a video or something, I'm filming on my floor. Um, and I just wish like I had like a little vanity, you know what I'm saying? Um, but there's like no space in my room. It, like I kind of want what I have at school. Well, I do want what I have at school. But there's like no room in my room. It's so freaking small. I wish, like, I don't know if you guys have seen my closet, but my closet is like pretty freaking huge. Um, I wish, like, the room was expanded a little bit. I don't know. It's fine. But it would just be nice. And I hate doing my makeup standing up that's why I don't do it in the bathroom and then also like um the lighting in there sucks so I don't know <sighs> what did I do today today I went shopping for some last minute Christmas gifts um, per usual doing last minute things and then oh well this morning I went to yoga with Amy and my dad and my sister so we did yoga and then we went to Starbucks and then I dropped Amy off at her house went in and hung out for a little bit and came home went or showered from yoga went back out to shop and then cleaned my room, posted my video, because I am behind. Are we surprised? Literally, Vlogmas is so freaking hard. Um, like, every year I'm like, oh yeah, it'll be easy. Like, no. It's freaking hard. And the last couple of days I have definitely been slacking. But it's genuinely because I am doing nothing. Like... I'm literally just hanging out with my family and they don't want to be on camera and then I'm like 
laying in my bed watching something and it's just like not entertaining at all so I apologize <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out like a a schedule that I can have throughout the year that I actually stick to because I never end up like sticking to the schedule you know what I'm saying um I struggle with that but for some reason like with vlogmas I am usually pretty good about it I mean not the past couple days obviously um but I was good about it like in the beginning right I don't know comment down below if I was not but I don't know I usually stick to the plan for like a couple weeks and then I like forget it's not even that I like don't want to I genuinely forget or like school gets really busy or whatever but yeah I don't know what to do about that so I'm gonna try and figure that out and then I want to come up with some goals for 2024 whoa that's crazy um I want some goals so maybe I could do like a video on that I don't know that's kind of lame but I did goals for last year and I was reading them to Amy last night and I did pretty freaking good not gonna lie there were like some that I really just didn't even do like read a book actually I read a book but it was like read more and I read like three books this year and that's a lot for me okay but I hadn't read anything recently so it felt like none but I was like wait I did read I read a lot in the summer because I was nannying so like when the kids were napping and stuff I would just read so I had like totally forgotten about that I'm also stressing about next summer because I need a job <laughs> Um, to support all of my freaking wants. Um, I am a very, I hate to admit it, but I am a materialistic person. And I love things. But I've acknowledged it. That's the first step. Um, and I would like to be able to buy myself those things because I think I deserve it. I just need money. I need a job and it's hard because during school I like don't have time for anything and I think during school you should be focused on school I remember when I worked freshman year at FSU and I was like I would work at the restaurant like after dance classes after my body had been like killing me and then I'd work and I would work till close so then I'd have to like close the restaurant and then I would be at the restaurant till like midnight or 12.30. And then I'd get home, shower, because I smell like a Mexican restaurant. And then I'd be going to bed at like 1, 1.30 and I had no me time whatsoever. So then all I wanted to do was like watch a video on YouTube that I had seen earlier in the day and I didn't get to watch it or whatever. And so I would watch it because I'm an idiot. And then I would sleep through my class in the morning and I could not get up for the life of me. So it just was very unhealthy of me, that job. Um, and I definitely, like I'm there to learn and I shouldn't be spending all that money at to go to school if I'm not going to school. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if, and I have a feeling this next semester is going to be crazy. So, that means I need to get a job in the summer. But, in the summers, I also have to dance. And stay in shape. So, I don't really know. Also, I absolutely hate working at a restaurant. I can't do it. Like, I've had my fair share. I worked at restaurants for like three years. And I know some people do that their whole life and they love it. I don't know how, genuinely. Um, I get so anxious and like 
my body hurts so bad just from like being on my feet all day which is so funny because I'm a dancer and I dance on my toes all the time and I can bear through that but I can't wait tables I don't know probably because I actually enjoy dancing and I obviously don't like waiting tables but yeah that is the tea on that I'm just gonna let that sit because I feel like I'm talking a lot um, probably because I am Yo, I love this elf powder and I had gotten elf stuff like when I was younger and it was so bad like it was so splotchy like it was awful and they have really stepped up their game let me tell you and it's so affordable which is so nice and like makeup trends are like going in and out all the time different products how do people afford to keep up with that I don't know because makeup is so freaking expensive I I don't uh, that's also another reason why I don't go on TikTok because it's just gonna make me want more things that I don't need and that I shouldn't buy because it's gonna I'm gonna use it until it's like no longer trendy or like being used and then it sits like still like half the bottle in my freaking makeup drawer or tube or whatever it is and I never use it after that so uh, it's complicated I'm not doing a lot of makeup just because we're just going to like a family friend's house so I guess this is just like a get ready with me I'm calling it a holiday party because we're going over for like Christmas stuff and presents and stuff like that but yep I am going to do some brown eyeliner in my waterline. I learned this trick about the dark in the waterline. I used to always do white. Oh my gosh, it like totally makes a difference. It like completely steps up the look. I always thought it'd make me look like, make my eyes look smaller or something. Or make me look, I don't know. But I think it's really pretty. It really like makes the look come together. Can you see that? Just gonna do a little. What I love about like either using eyeshadow or just like a little crayon is that it's so like manipul- manipulative? No. I don't know what I'm trying to say but like you can move it. It's just whereas like liquid it's like kind of stuck there and then you can't really like you can't move it unless you like take it off and redo your wing. And I always struggle with my wings. Sometimes I can do it one and done, and that's great. But like, when it comes to nutcrackers and stuff, when I have to use a pen, of course it like never works. Then, but um, at the mall today, I went and got presents, and I went to Sephora. And I was like, oh my gosh. First of all, there were so many people in there. I was so overwhelmed by like all the amount of makeup. And I was like, oh my God, I want to buy this. 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 And I was like, okay. Good thing that I didn't have the money. So I just did like a little wing. Hope it looks good. The 
And then I think I'm just gonna like curl my lashes. I mean, I love how that, like it's just literally barely anything. Like I did a little bit of um, eyeshadow, like very minimal. And then I just did that wing. And it makes it look like it's a lot more than it is. If I was like going out out, I would obviously do more. But this is just like family. So I'm not doing much. Need to fill in my brows though. Comment down below some of your favorite YouTubers because I feel like I need to be watching more makeup videos. <laughs> like send me some of your um, favorite makeup YouTubers or something like that. I don't know. But I feel like I need to step up my makeup game because I feel like it's just not... It, and everyone's learning all these new tricks off of TikTok, but TikTok gives me so much freaking anxiety. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like it. Sometimes I will, like, if I'm just laying in my bed, sometimes I actually will go on it. And it's not that bad. But I don't know why it gives me so much anxiety. It's not my favorite thing. Which I know that's not bad that I don't like it, because... I know a lot of people who are, like, trying to hate it and like trying to delete the app and stuff and then they always just end up re-downloading it so that's probably a good thing that I'm not like addicted to it but still there are some helpful things on there that I could learn from okay I'm gonna do my eyelashes I'm gonna turn off the camera and do my eyelashes that's boring and I'm not gonna be able to talk and you'll just be bored so I'll be back. Okay, mascara is done. Look how bad my lips are. I don't even, I bite them so bad. It's not even funny. But my lashes are done, so I'm going to take some, what the heck? Just some little shimmery thing. Just put that in the inner corners. I always feel like I get this in my eye and then like halfway through the day or night or whenever I'm doing it. I'm like itching my eye uncontrollably and then I just mess up everything. So I try to not get it too close to the inner corner but just enough and then a little under my brow bone and I actually do a little bit little bit of this on my nose as like a highlighter I don't know that's just not correct but it does it because my highlighter is all the way over there and I'm not getting it so oh I didn't take off my powder I can do that I feel like I need more powder. Feeling a little oily. I think that looks fine, I guess. Maybe I just, hold on. I'm gonna get, this is what happens. I'll be like filming a video and I talk to myself and then I like completely <laughs> do things and realize I didn't even tell anyone what I was doing. So then I just edit it out. But usually it's just doing more of something. So I guess it's fine. Okay, I added more um, eyeshadow under. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more nose contour. Okay, I hate my nose. I feel like I have to do so much freaking nose contour. I think that's 
better. I don't even know. I'm also going to do some more blush. More blush. I also have no idea what I'm wearing. I feel like it's a... Like, we're just going to their house, which is casual. But then we're going to a nice restaurant. So, do I... I don't even know what to wear. That's better. And now I'm going to do my lips. What should I do? Fuge. Overline. I also suck at freaking overlining my lips. Need a tutorial. They always look... Probably go too fast. And I don't care enough. And then, sometimes I'll do a little bit of my blush on my lips. But it dries them out. And they're already really dry. So we're just going to do... A little... Lipstick. And then I get lip liner all over my face trying to freaking fix it. And then a little bit of gloss. And I think that's it. I don't know. I never know what I'm doing. 432. Whoa. Alright. This is... Oh, I look really red. And these things are still showing, but... Uh... This is the finished look. It's the eye. <laughs> I think it's fine. Well, I made it through. I officially did, I think. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch this. Uh, but I officially did an unedited get ready with me. So, nailed it, I think. So, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below what you want to see next. We only have, like, a couple more vlogmases. I know I'm behind. But I'll make sure to finish it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are notified every time I post a new video. Or is that post notifications? I think you get a message when you're subscribed. I don't know. Just subscribe. Because that's nice. Or don't. I don't blame you if you don't. Because, you know. Alright, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye.